What's up, you guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? You know what I'm eating, you guys? I don't know if y'all read the title or not. But I'm eating beef lo mein. Have you ever had that Chinese food? I know that some of y'all have, and then egg roll. Mmm. I know that looks like wing worm, but just look at it closer. It's a uh, beefalo uh, man. I still got chicken little man, but this little man is good too. Beautiful man. I have tiny food and wild guy. You know? So, so I was like, why not? Give me some Chinese food. Hello. See beef lo mein, Chinese food and egg roll. I had two, I just ate one. Gotta eat. 
But I'm still here and I'm just uh, getting something to drink. Doing a Chinese milk. Yeah, yeah, because when I tell people, like, like, some people come on here and they want to know where I meet, but I put it, like, right in the video title. And when I told them, it's in the video title, like, uh, when I was trying to tell, uh, you know, I'm trying to think of her name, uh, I was trying to tell Ray, Ray Shella, that this, what I'm eating is in like the video title. Uh, it was like three or four, maybe six months ago. She got upset at me and thought I was trying to be hissy with her, but I wouldn't. What's up, you guys? I guess y'all just like the alert. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to, y'all don't want to. Talk in the chat or that. That's fine with me. You know? You know? I have to move this kind of the way. Try to get it straight. Yeah, that, that looks a lot better than in that other way. Mm. So you normally eat these with chopsticks, you know, but but they don't give you chopsticks at the place that I go to. And plus I don't even know how to use them anyway. everybody doing today? Mmm. I'm doing pretty good, you guys. Got the um, meat, the broccoli, the carrots, everything, the noodles. Mm. Mm. 
I kind of hope that some of y'all saw that video. Um, a video that I uploaded on my artist channel. That channel is going to be like, well, like reaction to like my old videos, you know, stuff like that. You know, I'm going to chop some small uh, clips up and make a little interesting stuff like that. Um, you know, mainly for that. And then I will also talk more about politics on that garbage too. So that channel is just a basically a, a, a alternative type of channel just in case I get tired of going live or uploading videos on my main channels. That's why I'm I created that channel like about eight months ago, maybe six to eight months ago. But I'm not going to be on that channel not stop. I'm just be on it every once in a while. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't had Chinese food in a long time, you guys. It's pretty good, this beef le main. Mmm. Kind of remind me of my ex name. Uh, le main. <laughs> From uh, a long time ago, she had a nickname, LeMay. You know, Princess LeMay. Mmm. Mmm. Go on, country. Let's play some music, you guys. Let's see. What is... What up? Probably sitting on it. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. You know, I normally don't eat Chinese food that much, you know, because it gets expensive. But I haven't had it in a while, so I'm like, you know, I might as well get some Chinese because my mentor has not taken me grocery shopping yet. This is the fourth time that she said that she was going to take me grocery shopping. Four days ago, she said, I'm going to take you to The first day, I'm going to take you to Second day, I'm going to take you to Third, I'm going to take you to You know, the fourth, I'm going to take you to the Let me screenshot that message. Save it for my documentary that I'm going to do next year. Put everything together. It's like everything is going to be all professional. It's not going to be just like a video I just edit, but I'm collecting enough evidence. I got so far, I got like. 2,000 screenshots. So, I'm going to put it all together. Make sure make a documentary a really good one, too. So, 
Yep. That just gives me more for my documentary. And then I'm gonna have, I'm gonna hire a narrator too as well. So, so it's not gonna just be me speaking. It's gonna be a, a narrator as well too, narrating the documentary as well too. So, yeah. Yeah. People are so funny these days, you know? It just makes you laugh. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to think. What? So tell me y'all guys what y'all think about that uh that uh video with Stacy when I was showing those all those clips, you know, and then I showed my a snippet of my uh live stream from last night. I was showing all those other clips whenever I was doing panels with Stacy. Uh what, what do y'all think about that? country well this is better than McDonald's you know you wonder why a lot of uh, Chinese people are are not fat and healthy because they they eat healthy I only met like a couple of Chinese people who were big in my whole entire life, 36 plus years. But those people, I think they were Asian, but they were Oriental. So that's a big difference, you know, so. But some people call them Chinese anyways, you know, but it's a huge difference in Chinese and Oriental, <coughs> you know, but anyways, let's see. Okay, it says Biden begins the first Democrat in 28 years to win Georgia. Georgia, 
Judge. I believe that. I really actually believe that. Is anybody uh yeah <laughs> wow she doesn't she doesn't have no job neither, so that's kind of funny. Did you tell me get it? Tell me to get a job, but she doesn't have no job neither. I wonder how that works out. So, all right, it's funny. And plus, I get paid on YouTube, so, on both of my channels. So. And I'm going to be working tax season because my mentor has a, is, has her own tax business. She's going to be opening up her, her own tax office in January, so. I think I already said that like a hundred times, but I don't have to explain it to you, though. Because you ain't nobody but a loser yourself. Yeah, it's kind of funny when people always tell, tell other people to get a job, but yet the people that they, that they be talking about, Stacy don't even got no job. A lot of people on the internet don't have no job. And that's the reason why they uh, have a lot of time on the internet. If you had a job, you wouldn't have time to come to my video or every stream or every upload I make. Because I never brought you to my, to any of my videos. So, yeah. But, uh, People are funny, though. YouTube people are funny. But you can't really expect that much from YouTube people. Can't really expect that much from people on YouTube. You know? So, it's whatever. Yeah, Donald Trump earlier, he was talking about the vaccine uh, earlier and stuff. It should be available soon from what he was saying. All right, well, what's up, Harley? What's up? Yeah, that's why I put some videos together, some like funny moments, you know. 
you know, like, because a lot of those clips that I put on that uh, together, it was very funny, so. Yeah. Eating Chinese food hardly. Have you ever had beef lo mein? I, I was going to say it's something different. <laughs> and then I got egg rolls. Harley, go to your other channels and thumbs up my video because they're thumbing it down for no reason. Even uh, even before the video even start screaming and stuff. Hmm. These idiots. I've been down with them ever since last week. You know? Who knows I don't really hardly even dress them by their names. Ow. Because I really. That means that I really don't care what they have to say, what they have to say coming in here. That should tell you something right there. You know? Um. Yeah, yeah, so I guess, uh, and, and, and also I was on another, um, I was on another channel, I think it's called Master or something, and this guy, he talks a lot about politics and other stuff too as well, and uh, he was talking about this article, he was reading this article that was saying that people that own food stamps, welfare, housing, which I'm not, uh, but for those that are on those assistants, then uh, they're gonna have to, uh, they're gonna have to be required to take the vaccine. So, so what do y'all think about that? And the vaccine that I'm talking about is the C vaccine. Man, whenever I get a chance, I've just been doing other stuff, trying to get everything else together. You know, just haven't had a chance, just been uh, pretty much doing me. Oh, oh, dinner is pretty good, you know. Have you ever had uh, beef lo mein? I love Chinese food. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Yeah. Well, they said it's going to uh, rain tonight, but I don't know how true that is, but it felt like it, though, earlier, though. Okay, uh, email me the beats, uh, put them under, uh, mb3 file, so that way I can listen to them and see if I can, you know, uh, rap on them and stuff like that, because if, a, if the beat goes hard, then 
I definitely could rap on. Definitely send it to my email, buddy. Or, or pretty much Instagram or wherever. Hmm. Okay. Alrighty, I will uh I will uh check it whenever you uh after you said it. I'll check it a little bit later. Is it like uh what kind of beats is it? Like is it uh licensed beats, unlicensed beats? Could I use the beats and be able to monetize the beats, you know, on my uh channel and stuff like that if I use it to uh, add vocals to it but do the beats got any uh, content ID thing on it or anything okay okay that's fine that's cool I was just making sure because uh, that's cool that's cool Ever had, I enjoy all kinds of restaurants. My favorite is California Burrito. No, but my sister probably had it. You know, I'm pretty sure that they have California Burrito here, but my sister lives in California. So she might have had it, but not me. I haven't had it. I had um, a California burger, but not a burrito, though. You know, yeah, but uh, you know, I might have had it though, because I've been ate a lot of types of food, you know, so I might have had it. I just probably just don't remember. I know back in the day, my mom used to get, when she, when my mom used to buy Chinese food, she used to get this uh, beef lo mein or something like that. It was pretty good too. Uh, pork lo mein, not beef lo mein, but pork lo mein. It was, it was delicious. And uh, she, she uh, asked me to try it, so I liked it and everything. Has a little bit in everything. Happy Friday 13, huh? Oh, I forgot that it was the 13th. I knew it was Friday. I just didn't look at the calendar. Because I normally look at the calendar and see. You know, I didn't really pay attention to it. Yeah. Friday 13th. Happy Friday 13th, everybody. Don't let a black cat cross your path. You do get bad luck. <laughs> I'm just joking. Are you watching Stir Movie? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen Stir Movie in a while. I like Stir. 
skirt movies. What kind of skirt movies are you watching? Oh man, I should get Netflix. Yeah. I had Netflix, but I don't know what happened to it. So, how was your day today, sweet love? Oh, you eating Subway? Yeah, I, I had Subway yesterday. I had two, uh, wait a minute, was it yesterday? Nah, it wasn't yesterday. It was, uh, uh, it was lunch. Yeah, yeah, it was lunch. Uh, couple of thing days ago when I had Subway. So I had the uh, meatball marinara foot long with the uh, urban cheese bread and then I had the regular bread with the meatball I mean I mean with the uh uh cold cut I mean and um and cold cut is pretty good with bacon. So, 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 have you ever tried, uh, uh, cold cut, tried with bacon, pretty good, you know, so, I like it with bacon. Oh, cold cut. Oh, man, you got something in common with that. We both like cold cut. Put this up for later, so that way, just in case I get hungry, I can uh, eat it. And put this this up and stuff. Oh, uh, just didn't want to drive. Uh, how far is the Chinese place where you at? The Chinese place where I'm at just only like a couple of blocks. That's about it. Not too far from the subway. That's where the Chinese place I go to. But you could order Chinese, but it's expensive though to order it. Though. You know, it's better to just Order it online. Better to just order it right at the restaurant instead of ordering online. Hold on, I'll be right back in that.
of funny how how some people like when you make a video like you know how when you try to put like old clips together and you try to put like a memory type of video together and uh somehow somebody they'll like it because they don't want to face the fact uh, that you you actually had a good uh, time, uh, good memories with that person. Yeah, I had to brush my teeth, you know, because you're supposed to brush your teeth right after you eat and stuff, you know. That's what I was doing. Maybe I seen that water running. Me, me heard that water running, I mean. Not all the time. Uh, it's just, uh, I have just a few people who can get over themselves, you know, and they won't never get over themselves. And that's why they, you know, come in here and, 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 uh, and, uh, pick on me and stuff. But lately I just, I've been responding less to it though. And plus I haven't even addressed them by their name like I used to, you know? So, I don't know if some of y'all have noticed that. But, yeah, you know, because they can't, you know, you know, live their lives and get over themselves and and they can't uh, understand that this is just YouTube. You know, it's not real life at all. So, anyway, I'm about to go to the store, you guys, and y'all go with me just in case y'all want to go. But, yeah, uh, I think it's just only a few of them. With a lot of accounts, a lot of troll accounts, and some of them come in here with the regular accounts, but sometimes they use troll accounts also. So, uh, but anyways, I'm gonna go to the store with y'all guys. Y'all gonna go to the store with me, actually. But yeah, it's it's a long story. It's you know, nothing but, you know, stuff. It's just that some people can't get over, can't get over something that happened months ago or, or a year ago or something like that. So, and that's why they just, they don't have like a, a stop button, you know, because even though I have given them an option to uh, to stop harassing me, I've given them plenty of options, and I even told them that just don't click on my video, you know, like I even told them, you know, if you don't like my content or you don't like what I say just don't watch you know simple as that because I'm only here for people that want to watch and support and people that want to be my friend so yeah but anyway y'all gonna go to the store with me yeah exactly they're jealous because me and Stacy had a great time. We had a lot of great times. I don't know if you've seen any of me and Stacy's old panels, but we had a lot of, a lot of fun. And certain people got involved in, then that's when our friendship ended. It's like a really, really long story. But, 
Byron, people love to hate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But but these people who are hating are just people that's not, that have, that can't get over things. You know what I'm saying? So that's why they're hating. You know, it's not like they have a specific reason to continue to hate. It's just they can't get over themselves and they're pathetic and and don't have no life. Because me personally, I was taught, you know, to love and to respect and to be nice and kind to us, you know? And, and I, I don't hate anybody. I might hate someone's actions, but, you know, I don't hate, I don't hate nobody at all. Exactly. Exactly. Some people are definitely influenced, you're right. And, uh... Or some people might be brainwashed, you know what I'm saying, to hate. Because, you know, I had some friends in the past, which, you know, this year, some months ago, uh, that were brainwashed to really hate me. But they realized the person that was brainwashing them was not all that innocent themselves and was actually worse. You know? Was actually the worst person you know, when it comes to like friendship. You know? So you know, sometimes you gotta find out the hard way about people and I have found out the hard way about a lot of people on on YouTube and stuff. Even, uh, even, uh, even, uh, even, uh, 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 even, even on, uh, my real life, you know? So, but the thing about my real life, you know, no one is really messing with me like that in my real life. Like, my social media life. You know, I had people that I, you know, bump heads with, but they don't, like, you know, mess with me like that. You know what I'm saying? Because those people move on and, uh, and you know, live their lives, you know? Yeah, well, the thing about it is, you know, um, like, for my part, you know, I'm like over it, and that's why, that's why I haven't really responded to those people by their names or anything, you know, because I would normally respond to them by their channel name. By the names of YouTube. And I haven't did that, so I've been doing a good job of not responding to them by their So but I don't know if you know this, but I've been on uh, YouTube for like for like a for like eleven years. So I know how it works and I know all about it, but I haven't had this, this drama or whatever you want to call it, uh, like this back then, this drama really started a year ago, so, because I admit, I was, uh, I got involved with certain types of people who I thought I could trust, and I thought that were, were my have my best interests of heart, but they did. I had to find out the hard way. So, by me finding out the hard way, they're making me pay. 
because, you know, for those people, you know, they want to see me, they want to torture me almost every day. So, I'm used to it, you know, and that's why I don't really say too much or get angry as much as I used to, you know, because I'm used to I'm used to being uh, bullied and abused and trolled and docks and, and all the other stuff. Because I've been doxxed and trolled so many times, I'm used to it. So it don't really, really like phase me anymore like it used to. Because this, uh, stuff been uh, going on for a long time so so it's it's not something new it's not something that just popped up a couple of months ago so it don't really uh, like fade me at all but uh I've been doing YouTube for a long long time uh I'm getting cigarettes. And then I'm gonna get some Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper is my favorite favorite drink, you guys. For those that that's new to this uh to this uh channel. I got another channel too called Chilling with Byron where I do a lot of music and streams too as well about my life. So check that out too, Chilling with Byron. I don't know how you found this channel, but thank you for coming in. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you for being a a, a Byron team member. Because uh, this channel has been drummer free for almost four days. You know? So that's why whenever they come in here, I don't really address them by their names or really read their mean comments or any of that anymore so yeah me too you know my whole life I didn't have BS I didn't have BS my whole life you know what I'm saying so so whenever I got online, whenever I started having BS online, it didn't feel so good, but I got adjust to it. You know what I'm saying? It was not like, uh, it was not like something like, like real life or something. Real life, you know, uh, real life, you can, you, you, uh, you see those people who hurt you pretty much. So, versus YouTube, you see them in real life. Yeah, exactly. So, so sometimes you be, so, so sometimes you come accustomed to the BS. The lies, the drama, the the betrayal, you know what I'm saying? So you come to just to that because my, whenever, um, whenever I was growing up, that's all I seen. You know what I'm saying? Drama, politics, BS, people killing each other, fighting each other. So, so it's not, this YouTube thing is not really, really nothing compared to, to my, my childhood when it comes to my childhood life, you know? Hey. 
Hey, what up, man? All right now. The Miss Scratch Off King right there. Please Queen. win it. Win the big. Win the big. I'm trying to. I am wishing for you to win the big. I gave up on the lottery, man, a long yeah. time ago. I was, yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to hit the big one, but I just gave up. But people uh -huh. tell me just keep trying, keep going, you know. <laughs> uh, I know. They ain't got nothing. In one thing in here, really. What? Uh, got a little in it. Got so much of this. Uh, can I get uh three dish menthol one Three packs. Yeah, three packs. How many? Three packs. Three or two packs. Three packs. Three packs. Three packs. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like you're saying two. Oh my bad. Holding up three fingers, but it sounds like you're saying two. Yeah, yeah, it probably did. Yeah. <laughs> my bad, man. Uh, Catch it. Well. All right, take care, man. Yeah, uh, they got plaque glass near those, uh, where you, uh, check out at, right in the convenience stores, you know, so, and plus, those people was not even wearing their masks neither, you know, people who I was talking to. But I did say six feet of it, so yeah. Yep. Yeah, because a lot of people, you know, a lot of people, they're not used to YouTube drama. So whenever, whenever they get on YouTube, Some of them are blowing away all the filthy stuff that people be talking about, you know, right in the chat. You know, all the hateful and mean crap and the doxing and everything. Doxing people's children and, and, uh, and stuff like that. So some people are not used to that. You know what I'm saying? Because some people don't, uh, some people probably don't get on social media like that you know so I get on social media every day pretty much so it's it's pretty much the new norm for me to uh, deal with so it doesn't really fade me anymore like it used to though Yeah. Yeah, I'm uh careful. I always look both ways and uh before I go across the street. Yeah. Cause I know some of these cars don't wanna stop or don't want to drive properly so yep but yeah you know I think uh, a lot of people are not used to 
what I'm used to, you know? Like, if you've been doing this for 11 years, you should be used to it by now. But, but my 11 year on YouTube has not always been hell because YouTube used to be a place where a lot of people were safe and and it was fun and, and you you connect with friends and you know and you had that friendship connection with everybody and most people were nice to each other on YouTube you know back then whenever I started hello but but nowadays People are taking a lot of things far on the platform, but, 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 but you two will change that soon, though. Don't worry, they will change that soon. It's just a matter of time. Because uh, YouTube got so many people on here, 100 million people on the platform, 100 billion people, not million, but 100 billion people. So, it'll take a little while before they make some changes, you know? But I'm sure they're working on it, though. I'm sure. You know, it's just a matter of time whenever that happens. Because when you got a hundred billion people right on the platform, you know, that's, that's a lot of, that's a big job to really manage uh, a platform, manage a website like that, you know? So, even with a thousand people, you know, even with a thousand employees that YouTube has, still it's kind of like a, it's still a hassle to them because they want it to be better for everybody. But of course it's, but of course it's never gonna be perfect, but at least one day it would uh, be, be, uh, be better, you know? So, they're working on it. I, you know, I just, I just can feel it. Some of these people, uh, they're only able to do what they do because YouTube at this moment doesn't have a, a system where when you create an account, you have to verify with your personal information. You gotta link your personal information to your to your uh, Google account. You know what I'm saying? But Facebook has it like that already. But YouTube does. So that's how some of these people are able to do what they want to do. You know, create as many as fake accounts as as they can. You know what I'm saying? Because there's no because it's it's a lot easier for them to do. But 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 if I was creating a lot of accounts like that, I would at least you know 
you know, try to utilize them, you know, like, you know, put some videos on them and put some, uh, you know, things on them and, 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 you know, pretty much, you know, pretty much, you know, have a legit name, you know, at least. But that's just me, though. You know, not everybody think like me, or or not everybody, uh, you know, or not everybody, you know, think with their brain. You know, some people just think because they. Some people just think. And because they get uh, bored, you know, because if they were actually working the job, do you think these people would be coming into all of these people's chats and messing with them? I don't think so. But the majority of people that do that, you know, the majority of them don't have jobs, you know. So, 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 uh, and that's how you know majority of them are, are sore losers like Donald Trump, except Donald Trump has power, and these people don't. What friends? What friends, uh, Leroy? I don't know what you talk about, Leroy. What friends? What friends are you talking about, Leroy? What friends, uh, please leave your friends to. Leave me alone. He you tell your friends to leave me alone? I was trying to talk to you on my channel, but I'm blocked. On your channel? I'm blocked all of a sudden. And can you please tell your friends to leave me alone? I do not bother no one anymore. Just leave me alone. Thank you. What friends? Like... I don't know what you're talking about, you know, you know, like, they're bothering you, like, who's bothering you? Yeah, and really, reality, to be honest with you, you really don't need friends, really, you know what I'm saying? And I, like a lot of people on YouTube, I consider them, a lot of them just associates because a lot of them I just talk to, you know? Uh, but some of them I do consider friends, friends, because, you know, I have been knowing them for a long time. And, you know, uh, we have a good history together, you know? But random people, like other people who who I don't really know or talk to, you know, I don't really consider those people really friends. I, I just consider them associates, pretty much. Online associates. Yeah, see, see like this person, I don't know who this person is. 
I don't know why they're coming to my chat or like, please, someone block them. Because I don't want no drama. That's not what I would lie for. Yeah, you know, I just only have a few. Because people are trashy, yo, lie. And just like this person that came in just now, I don't even know that person. You know, they came in under a fake account, you know. So, um, you know, I try my best to stay away from the drama, but, you know, they say it follows you everywhere you go. Especially when you are dealing with people that just won't leave you alone. You know, so, yeah. But, you know, even though that you didn't do nothing wrong, you know, still, they still won't leave you alone. You know? So, Newport, me, um, no, not Newport. Uh, this menthol 100s. I normally do smoke Newport. That's why I mistakenly said Newport. But Newport's got expensive. See? So, so this is called really Times, not Newport. Not a this menthol. It's kind of like this menthol, but it's really sort of. Sort of the same, you know, just different brand name. That's all. All of them are the same. He's just paying for the brand name. Yeah. I always get menthol. Yeah, I always get menthol, you know. You know, I never, uh, I try lights. A couple of times before, I just didn't like it. You know? But I think the reason why they still come in here, even though there's no drama, uh, because they want me to say something. They want me to talk about stuff again and, and argue with them and get mad. But I'm not going to do that. Yeah. I'm going to use that for my documentary. I'm going to document everything. You know, but the best thing to do is, is leave a person alone. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, okay. Well, I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, so... You can leave me alone, please, because I, there's no drama in this, so please do not bring drama, please, you know, don't bring, don't bring nothing that's not really going on, and I guess my moderators are not, my moderators are probably asleep, because they would have got you a low top of that. Yeah. Well, those people are here to troll me and to 
to to make me argue with them and to make me upset but I'm not gonna get upset yeah and I haven't been getting upset for a while so that's why I haven't been really saying too much so yeah that's right You know, because I don't mess with no one, go to their channel and mess with them. You know. Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, that's why I don't get upset. That's why I'm not upset. That's why I told them that if they don't like me, you know, they could just like leave me alone. You know what I'm saying? And that's just simple as that. It's not a hard thing to do. But they claim themselves to be... They claim themselves to be victims of something, but... But they're not. And... They can easily... Just... Move on with their lives and... And, you know, like, spend time with their families and stuff like that. So, yeah. Appreciate it. You know, whenever you see someone disrespecting me or doing something or trying to call drama, block. You know, block. Don't even hesitate. Block. Or time them out to, uh, to let them think about it. Give them, like, Two or three timeouts, and then right after that, they keep doing it. Just block. You know, because we don't need we don't need stuff like that in our lives. We need a you know we need positivity in our lives. We don't need all of that in our lives. Nobody need that. And I'm not trying to bring any drama you know not today not yesterday not the day before you know I started off fresh ever since uh, I went back live Tuesday so But, I don't really know what I'm going to do today. I Me mean, tonight. I don't know, you know, it's really nothing really to do but watch movies. I'll probably watch a movie or something a little bit later. To go to sleep, you know, because watching movies, it helps me go to sleep. Huh. <laughs> That's funny. But, <laughs> yeah. Well, it's easy to leave someone alone. You know what I'm saying? Cause me, me, whenever, whenever I don't like someone, I don't go to their channel. The only way I would go to their channel is probably once or twice or, or, you know, and I would let, you know, pretty much let them know that I need to talk to them about something privately and, and then that's it, you know, you know, I don't really care about drama anymore, you know, but if you've been watching been watching my recent streams from yesterday and plus sorry about speaking my recent streams for yesterday and plus the other day then you would know that I don't really care for drumming that much anymore. You know? Yeah. 
But anyway, let's let's have fun and let's uh let's uplift each other. Let's be positive. You know, let's have fun, let's be funny, let's be uh you know Got some cookies. <laughs> Yeah, I guess it's not going to rain, I guess. They they said it was going to rain. It ain't going to rain. Probably not yet, maybe late night. What kind of cookies do you got, uh, Cindy? You know what, speaking of cookies, Cindy, I know these are not the best cookies ever, but I bought some cookies at the Dollar General, and I never tried these, these caramel strip cookies. You know, have you ever tried these? I never tried these, so I get them and stuff. I know that they're offering cookies, but, but they look delicious to me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, Miss Crow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to go nowhere anytime soon. You know, but, but good news, I have heard earlier that Donald Trump was speaking about a Vaccine coming soon. I don't know what y'all guys feel about that. A vaccine. Some people have mixed feelings about it because they want to make sure everything is right. Oh, yeah. You like chocolate. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you because like, you know what, I heard that they might start trying to make people get vaccine, you know, just to get certain type of services and stuff like that, you know. Yeah, uh, Oklahoma has not got any restrictions yet, but I guess uh, even though that we we have gotten more cases here, but but we haven't went on lockdown, lockdown. You know, it's still fully open. Everything is still fully open. It's just a lot of businesses are just uh, requiring, you know, the mask and social distance and putting plaques on those, you know, uh, whenever you uh, go uh, uh, to those front desks, putting plaques all over them and stuff, you know, and then by the seats, they put plaques and stuff like that, glass plaques over, you know, so that way, you know, it could be, people could be together, but people won't be breathing and sneezing on each other. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, well, people are going to be shocked at this, and I'm going to make you a mind. Please don't let me down, okay, this time.
Yeah. Yeah, Cindy's been on my channel for a long time. You know, she's been around for a long time, a long time. Like, how long have you been around on my channel, uh, Sydney? For like four or five years. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, so freaking long. Yeah. You got an email, Cindy? Uh, I need to talk to you about something. Something uh, privately. Something important. Yeah. Hmm. I heard people talking outside. I just can't pick out what they're saying. Maybe they're talking on the phone. Yeah, she's an OG. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you know my email, so, uh, so email me at that, and then I will, I will tell you, tell you, uh, tell you what's, what I'm going to talk to you about when you email me, okay? I just hit it. Yeah. 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 Surprise, Teresa is not in here. Yeah, I have two kids, and I, uh, I'm i divorced. What about you? You got any kids? You got a husband? What? So I'm basically single. Single mingo. What about you, uh, sweet love? How many kids do you got? And are you married? Are you single? What? Oh, you never been married? Have you ever thought about being murdered before? Like in the near future? You know, because I know like a lot of people that never been murdered, you know, a lot of women I talk to that never been murdered, some of them say, 
they don't really want to get married ever. Some of them say someday they want to get married when they find their Prince Charming and stuff like that. So, oh, you are. Oh, you about my sister's age. My sister, they live in California, but she's about forty three or forty four. Yeah. Oh, you was engaged? Oh, uh, so, uh, so, so what happened with that? You know, if you don't mind me asking. Because anything goes in, goes in this day, in time. But, but is it really worth it? Yeah, that's true. I got to a point where I was like, you know, it's really not, you know, you know, it's it's not something that I'm like really into as I used to be, you know what I mean? Because when I was, uh, before I married my ex-wife, I was all in to get married. That's why I got married. But when I was married to her five years, I seen how it really was. Uh, and it wouldn't, it wouldn't pretty at all, so. But uh, don't get me wrong, you know, you know, like, you know, like dating, you know, like a relationship in the near future or something like that, you know. You know, I'm all for it, but merge and, and being engaged, you know, I already didn't pretty much been there and did that, you know. So I don't, you know, I thought it was, I thought it was going to be, be really good. I thought I was going to, like it, but I, I liked it, it the first, second year, and the third year, but the fourth and fifth year was pretty bad, yeah. Yeah, me too. That's probably another reason why I don't really want to get married to anyone. Even if I do... Even if I do find someone to be with for like a long time, you know, I would wouldn't wanna wouldn't wanna get married because I like I like my freedom. And I'm sure everybody loves their freedom, but but some people just like having someone around, you know what I'm saying? So I can deeply understand that. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, and I look at it like this. If you don't love that person that you are engaged with, you know, be sure to just like, just don't murder them, you know what I'm saying? If you don't love them, and that's not who you want to be with, you know? Just don't do it, yeah, just be single, you know what I'm saying? Just date around, you know what I'm saying? But just be, 
costumes and careful who you who you involve yourself with. You know what I'm saying? And that goes for men and women. You know what I'm saying? So, because I don't want to see nobody get hurt. Nobody. A, a woman or a man get hurt by, you know, by their girlfriend or boyfriend or or fiance or husband or wife, you know? So, the best thing to do is just be single. You know what I'm saying? Be single for a long time, you know? And, and just enjoy that, enjoy life, you know what I'm saying? Do something, something that you have never done and done before. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, a dog will definitely do. You know, he, you know, like you don't really, you know, and and be honest with you. In my personal opinion, you really don't need anybody. What you need is Jesus Christ, and, and plus you need yourself. You need to love yourself first before you think about being with someone and stuff like that. But I do know that feeling being lonely and being alone, you know, and I understand why some people don't want to be alone. You know, I do get that. Yep. Yep. All you need is yourself and Jesus Christ. That's all you need, you know what I'm saying? You know, and that's the way I look at it, you know what I'm saying? Like others might, might need someone because others might not, <laughs> others might not like being single and stuff like that, but you know, some some people are just better off, you know. Uh, I'm sorry about your loss too. Speaking of Chihuahuas, I had a uh, a Russell mixed with Chihuahua and uh, and everything, you know, back in the days and stuff. But I really want to get a cat though, get it's this cat that's been hanging hanging around my apartment, you know, coming upstairs wanting me to you know wanting me to let her in and stuff. And uh today I didn't see her or nothing like that, but you know, but when I do see her and when she comes by the door, I'm gonna let her in and feed her. You know, give her a warm place to stay in. I don't like animals being out there like that. Oh. No, because like I, the last time I seen her was uh, that day when my power went out and I could not just leave her in this this apartment without no electricity. So she just wandered off somewhere, but she always comes back. Though. She always comes back, you know. And she comes back and she meows, she scratch on my door and stuff. You know, I just didn't have no no warm place at the time because my electricity was off from the ice storm. We had a 
big huge power outage in uh right here in uh right here in 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 Oklahoma, you know, so but we had our power on here, you know, here in the apartment complex ever since Sunday, uh Sunday ever since Sunday at four or five, so Exactly, Sydney. Exactly. But uh, but the next time when I see her, I will definitely feed her. You know, definitely feed her and let her come in and stuff. Bobby, she is for it. They rescue. Oh. Understand you? Can a cat understand you? What you saying? Oh, you talking to her? Uh, yeah. Um, I think cats are really smart, though. Cats can. Cats, you know, can sense things. You know. You know, but uh. Just like dogs can too. That's why I always tell people, you know. Oh, you never had a cat? Oh. That's why I always tell people, people that go off and treat animals like cruelty, like the cruelty to animals, I always say, that those animals, they have feelings too, you know? Yeah, so. Cause I, this one cat that I got from the, uh, I named her uh, Tyler. And, uh, and, uh, the pet shop, PetSmart was telling me that the previous owners didn't really treat her right, you know, they abused her and stuff. You know. And uh I don't like people abuse animals like that. Good raccoons. Oh. Wow, don't they spread skunk juice? That is so. Uh, thanks for coming in the chat. Yeah, appreciate you. Fourteen raccoons, raccoons, and six skunks, plus five possums each night. Oh, wow. The last time I, I went, I ran across a possum, I was like very close to it. And I was at work, working at a hospital, and I was taking out the trash outside, and it was right in the trash, and I was like, oh God. And then my co-workers were teasing me about it because I, I was so scared of it. Because <laughs> it was hissing at me, you know? And it was right in the trash can, you know, at work and stuff. And I was trying to pick, you know, get the trash out. And then next thing you know, I saw it. And I was like, oh, hell no. Nah. And then someone else came and got it and stuff.
Yeah. Possum. Oh, man. I just don't like the way that they look at you, you know? I never run across a skunk before, but I uh, had, like, one time saw a dead skunk in the road when I was walking, and thank God I didn't step on it, you know, because I uh, would have had all that stuff on my shoes. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> yeah, 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 that would be something. Yeah, I don't like those kind of, kind of animals, you know. But I know people uh, who have them as pets and stuff, you know, but not me, mm-mm. No way, Jose. No way, Jose. But, yes, yeah, people out there that have them as pets and stuff like that. You know? No, I haven't heard of that. Okay, put the link. Can you uh, find the channel for us and put it right in the chat so I can check it out later and stuff? Yeah, around here we don't get possums and and uh and uh skunks, but we get a lot of raccoons around here. Okay. Okay, I will uh I will subscribe to it. Okay, I would uh, check it out.
Okay, I'm a subscriber. Hit the notification bell to. Man, that's a lot of raccoon and peanut butter sandwiches. Wow. Mmm. A lot of raccoons. Yeah, I see that. Damn. He's doing pretty good for himself. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm dying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he will be? Okay. Okay, no problem, no problem. Visitors. What did he normally feed them, sweet love? Connor is still missing. Continue to feed uh, raccoons. Connor returns. He is a stinker. <laughs> a cat. Mm. The whole channel. Pretty much raccoons and stuff. Wow. I'm amazed by by what I see. for himself. Yeah. How long have he uh how long has he been around? You know, this guy James.
but he has been doing it all for 20 years. Wow, that's a long time. It's drama free, no politics. Uh huh. Oh, raccoon time, yeah. Every night video. Oh, uh, it's his wife's wish. Oh, uh, no PayPal. He just won. Drawing. Oh. Sweet guy. He sounds like a sweet guy. That is awesome. Yeah, that is really awesome. Sweet love. nice yeah I'm definitely I'm definitely is gonna share share his share his videos on my community both of my community tabs and stuff Yeah, I agree with that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> must be. Thanksgiving miracle, right? <laughs> yep. Yep. Yeah, cats are much fresh as I agree with that. Sweet love. Oh, yeah, they were. You're right. You're smart, sweet love. You know a lot about cats.
Yeah. Yeah, I agree with you, sweet love. Humans are evil and cruel. But see, a cat would be your best friend. I know they always say dogs are men's best friends, but I think a cat would definitely be your best friend. Even though cats, you know, are different from dogs, but, but when I used to have a cat, I noticed that when I used to be sad, he used to always come by me and uh, lay on my lap and stuff and stuff like that. Yeah, they do. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I would definitely share his channel too as well. You know, I'm always willing to support anybody that, anybody like that. Yeah, especially, uh, you know, him working hard and putting in work, you know what I'm saying? I think those type of uh, channels deserve to be more recognized. Like, I think he deserves even 10 million subscribers in my personal opinion. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. I believe I believe that he will. It's just I'm surprised that he hasn't hit it already, you know, because so much work that he didn't put in so many years, you know. But sometimes it takes a while, though, you know, the hard work always pays off. 
Okay, I will check it out a little bit later. Definitely. Sometimes that hard work pays off. People used to always tell me hard work pays off, you know, later on. Yeah, you know, some people it takes longer than others, you know. Like, I know a lot of YouTubers that are that are still some YouTubers I know who also put in a lot of work as well too, but they're still under a hundred K still. You know, it all depends on what you do, you know, you gotta find a niche. And and stick with it, you know what I'm saying? But me, I do all kinds of things, though. Because I try to not to stick on one thing. But sometimes you got to stick on something that you're really passionate about. Something that you're really good at. Something that not only you adore, but people that watch your videos or stream the George too as well. You know, so yeah. okay. Yeah, sometimes it takes a while, you know, because whenever I first started YouTube eleven years ago, uh it took me like three or four years after that just to grow just to get a small following. So some of my channels, I can upload anything and still get, you know, views, probably not thousands of views, but I do got videos, multiple videos on my other channels that have reached 15,000, 12,000, even songs I did that reached thousands of views and uh so I have done it before and plus I can do it again it's, uh you know like and uh on my on my up in the house records this channel I'm live on right now had tons of videos that have reached a lot of views and a lot of attraction and stuff like that. Okay, sweet love. You know, and then I had my Everyone Loves Byron, that channel, before I changed the name, like, twice. Uh, I used to have it named Young Byron Bit, And that uh, channel has a lot of views on it, too, as well. And also, Chill with Byron definitely has a lot of views. So, I have videos on YouTube. I have like over like 4,000 videos on YouTube combined to all my channels put together. So, yeah, I, you know, in some of my videos, you know, I really worked hard editing and making them look, making them stand out and everything. And some of them I just got lazy on and just, you know, didn't really edit, did it that. Okay, I'll look at it. Let's see. Pet Goose George. Oh, sounds interesting. You know, he got a lot of subscribers too as well. Hmm. Huh. You're going to get me into a lot of these a lot of these animal channels and stuff. You're gonna get me all into this. 
you're gonna get me addicted to watching watching those those type of videos and stuff. You know? Because like I do watch like people that do like animal type videos, but I don't watch it that often, but it seems like it's it looks pretty interesting to watch and stuff. You know, so I'm gonna be definitely watching both of those channels, you know, much often. So, so. and then I'm gonna tell tell them that you sent me. So, you know, so it was a word of mouth, pretty much how I found them because I would never know nothing about them, and these are really big animal channels, you know, these are big channels, you know, so, and I'm surprised I didn't even know about them yet, you know, so, thank you for, yeah, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I agree with you, exactly, I hate boring YouTube videos, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, you know, like everybody's on a different level, you know, some people are, are good at, are better than when it comes to like channels and content. Some people put more work than others into their craft and stuff. You know, it, it's just... If I had the money, I would have definitely invest into a computer, a laptop. But the thing about it is, my last laptop got stolen last year in the summertime when I let these people uh, stay with me because I was trying to help a friend out, a really good friend that I've been knowing for years, I was trying to help her sister out. And then she tried to move her boyfriend in that did drugs and stuff. So whenever I kicked them out, my mentor, because I got a mentor, you know, a caretaker that take, take care of all my other stuff, but I take care of most of my stuff. And um, my caretaker came over here my mentor, you know, she's my mentor and my Kurt cake. She came over here and helped me kick them out and stuff. And uh, two weeks later, my place, whenever I went to work with her husband, my mentor's husband, two weeks, three weeks later, my, uh, my apartment got broken into in my laptop, which it was kind of like a Chromebook but I used it as a laptop. It kind of looked like a laptop, so I called it pretty much a laptop. And it got stolen along with my TV. So my best friend Jesse, that I've been knowing for 20 years and, and pretty much went to high school with, uh, he loaned me his TV. And the TV I got right now, this is the TV when flat screen TVs first started started uh, coming out and stuff. It's like an Emerson, you know. Yeah, I tried that, but uh, the trolls, you know, I got the membership button, you know, you know, I got the membership thing and stuff like that, uh, where they can pay the troll, but, you know, most of those people that actually troll me are broke and, and don't have no money to really tr pay the troll, but I had a few people that had paid me, you know, like Super Chats to troll me, but... 
you know, most of the people that troll me, you know, they don't got no money, so. Exactly. Okay. Well, I tried, uh, Yeah, uh, yeah, because I was helping a friend out, and, uh, like, because I know this, this, this woman, and plus I know her sister, but I know her more than I know her sister, so I was just trying to be a kind gentleman and help her out, and I told her it was going to be temporarily, and she said, okay. And then she thought she was going to stay forever. So my landlord told me I had to kick her out and stuff because because she can't be here without being on a lease. So my mentor came over here and uh, kicked her out for me, you know, like be my witness and stuff like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you, hon. Yep, I sure do. Uh, Stream Louds is TTS. TTS? Oh. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. Maybe I need to use that. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, I look I look more into it, you know. I have used StreamYard, I mean StreamLive before, and I noticed that I don't really get like troll troll that much. Even StreamYard, I don't really get troll that much, you know. Cause I think StreamYards and StreamLive don't play, you know. It's just just when I go live on the regular YouTube back, it's when I have most of the problems. Appreciate you for wishing the best, huh? Yeah, I will definitely be careful. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it should be, you know what I'm saying, like, you know, I feel like being in the chat and talking shit in the chat, it should be, they should pay you to do that, and it shouldn't be a right, it should be a privilege, you know, and they should pay you for that privilege, you know. Because especially as a YouTuber, you putting yourself out there a lot, you know, on camera, you showing your face, people know what you sound like, people know what you look like, people know your daughter, people know your mama, people know all of all about you. They know your content, you know. You know, and like I feel like it uh they definitely should have to pay just to troll, you know what I'm saying? Just to talk shit, yeah. Time is money, yep. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm a I'm a I'm a pretty much do that. I'm gonna definitely do that. I'm gonna definitely do that. Ridiculous. Because I feel like why why should someone have the right to mess with someone else's life? You know what I'm saying? Like YouTube is supposed to be safe. Social media is supposed to be safe, but it's not.
you know, and people, and the biggest problem is it's free, you know, and that's why when it's free, you get so many crazy wordos, so many crazy people, you know, right in your chat, you know what I'm saying, because I noticed that when I do, do those membership uh, chats, I don't get trolled at all. And, and whenever I do private chats, I, don't, I barely get trolled. You know, private streams, I barely get trolled. So, yeah. It's supposed to be fun. You know, like, you cooking, you mukbanging, music, you, you know, trying to make each other laugh and Trying to have a good time, trying to be, have a sense of humor. You know, it's not all about that negativity. It's not all about that, you know, mm, you know, I want to mess with this person's life or I want to mess with that person's life because I'm unhappy with my own life. And I feel like, I know a lot of people don't agree with me, but I feel like if you're going to mess with someone's life, then uh, you should have to pay to mess with someone's life. Especially when you're just going to chats and just like screwing with people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, the thing about it is they can still see my videos if I do the membership only, but they just can't come in the chat unless they pay $2, which $2 ain't nothing. Cause I'm members to, I'm members to like three other, three other YouTubers on online. You know what I'm saying? So $2 ain't nothing really to me, you know? Well, no, I'm not going to make you pay. You know, moderators don't have to pay. I'm just saying, like, the trolls, you know, moderators doing the members only thing, moderators don't have to pay. Just the trolls, you know? And plus the other people who are not moderators. And plus, I uh, I wouldn't want no one to pay anyway. But if they want to, they can. You know what I'm saying? You know, and like $2 ain't really nothing. $2 a month, you know. And not only a chat, but you also will get a perks too as well. It's not just the chat. You will get perks. You will get uh, inside uh, content before it hits YouTube. And you would get uh, content that I can't put on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? You know, and uh, you would be the first one to see. It. You know? So, yeah, it, it won't just be chat. You know, it would be a lot of things. It would be a lot of perks. Because the thing about that membership thing, it don't, it don't just like benefit you to come in the chat. A lot of people who like have been on my membership, which about eight different people, eight or nine different people have been on it before. Uh, you will get a lot of stuff, you know, you will get it, you know, exclusive music, you get exclusive uh, song that I haven't released yet because because I got a lot of songs that I have not released that I have recorded and haven't been released yet, you know? And I got content that I can't put on YouTube and that, that you have access to, so. 
It'll be worth your while. Yeah. Yep, that's true. But me personally, I, I don't really expect a lot from nobody. I don't really expect that much, you know, but I didn't have members on my channel before. You know, and plus I have members right now who who are still members, but but they don't really come on no more because they're just busy living their lives, you know. So But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do, uh, Frankie. You know what I'm saying? I know that you know all the stuff that that I've been going through for the past year or so. So you know, it, it's it is so much stuff. I'm even working on putting a documentary together, a actual documentary, not just like a video I upload and, and just edit it a little bit now. I want to really like put everything together and and work hard on everything and make everything right. And but it's not gonna I'm not gonna work on it until next year though. Right now I'm just collecting documentary. Yeah, life of a YouTuber. Why not, uh Frankie? You know, you know what I've been through, you know, like I've been through hell, you know, like just imagine yourself being in front of that camera every day and going through that stuff, you know. Yep. What's wrong with a documentary? Like, you know, like. You know, I know, I know that you know how bad it is been, you know, I know that you know, so. Yeah, but the thing about it is, you know, it's not just the trolls, you know, it's, you know, I don't know if you understand that, but it's not just the trolling, you know, it, it has been beyond that, if you know what I'm talking about. It's not just trolling. You know, it's, these people didn't, didn't destroy lives and stuff. And plus, I had to suffer from it. And mostly in, uh, in, uh, mentally. You know, like, some people just think it's not that bad, but it is. It, it has been really, really bad, you know. And that's why I document everything. You know what I'm saying? And people that's been on my channel for, like, ever will tell you <laughs> how bad it is and, you know, how bad it's been recently, too, so... Yeah. No, you don't necessarily got to pay creator. I feel like if you support someone 100% and you really love the content, you really love the content, and you have good intentions, you know, supporting them and being there for them, then if you want, you know, it's your decision, what you want to do, you know? But me, I only members to like three people you know because i i can't afford to support everybody but i'm members to three people channel and two or three dollars ain't nothing you know but if i was have to pay like five dollars or ten dollars <laughs> no thank you so i understand what you said
Well, uh, what do you want a person to do in order to make it worth your while? Like, you know, like, because whenever you, uh, whenever that person is able to get enough, then that person might be able to buy a good camera, you know, good software. Uh, they might be able to buy a good computer so they can make better content, like, that you want high quality content, you know, but someone that's on a low budget, you know, they, they really, you know, they, they can't really do too much because uh, some of those YouTubers, the reason why they're able to make their content the way that they are because they have their followers, their friends, and their fans, you know, supporting them, you know, fully for it. In order for them to do that stuff, stuff they have to have the support. Because some of them, you know, they even say they, if it wasn't for the fans, they wouldn't even, their videos wouldn't be, you know, like it is, you know what I'm saying? So just to make continue making great content, you you know you have to be compensated, and you gotta have better equipment, better cell phone, better you know connection, better computer, so that way you can provide the best content for your viewers and your friends and your uh, followers or your subscribers, you know whatever you want to call them. Yeah. I'm not trying to say that that you have to pay. I'm just saying that if you fully support someone and you really love their content because uh, did you know that if you Once they reach a certain level of members and certain level of subscribers, maybe they can make better content. You know, like content like that you want to watch and, you know, be worth your while. Maybe they could do that, but they have to have the funds to have a better camera and, you know, have the funds to uh, have maybe a, a background like a good background where viewers are not just looking at the walls and, and stuff like that or people are not hearing like weird sounds and weird noises. But I get what you're saying though. I really do get what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? I really do get what you said though. Because I don't want to pay for nobody neither. I don't want to pay for everyone neither. You know what I'm saying? You know, I really do. But I feel like some people is worth my wow because especially with the stuff that they got to deal with every day. You know, I don't know. I don't know if you make videos, Frankie, or I think it's just trolling, but it's not. It's more to it than that. And that's why I'm putting a documentary together, whether people like it or not. You know, if you like it, you like it, you don't, oh well, you know what I'm saying? To show you what I have to go through and dig deep into it, and it's going to be a narrator that's going to narrate it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to hire a narrator and everything. So, it's not going to be just a video of me talking. It's going to be really professional, a really professional video. So, yeah. That's why it's wild for me to put it all together. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm collecting, collecting uh, evidence and, and uh, I'm collecting uh, documents and all the other stuff. Cause there's so much stuff I got on my phone that you haven't even seen yet. <laughs> and 
and, and not only just screenshots, just video recording. It's other stuff too. It goes deeper than that. It goes deeper than what you think. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you probably have an experience of being a Maybe you probably haven't experienced what I have experienced, but I have experienced really like abuse, uh, anxiety for a long time. You know, I had the, I got sick because I was so depressed over, over what I had to go through. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally. <laughs> and nobody in my neighborhood would really do what I do. Cause, Cause, these people ask me, man, how you do it? I'm a tough guy. I'm a tough guy. I'm used to it. It's just, you know, it's just a certain level that some people just don't cross. You know what I'm saying? I don't mind you coming in here and telling your jokes and being silly and stuff like that. But when you cross a line like when it comes to my daughter, when it comes to my mom, when it comes to my personal life, and when it comes to, like, family, then that's bigger than anything. That's that's bigger than anything in my life. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, that's, that's bigger than trolling, doxing, whatever. I put up with a lot of crap, and and I could deal with trolls. I just, but the things that I had to put up with is way beyond that. It's way deeper than that. What you think? Some people have been on my channel that long to experience what I had to go through, you know? Uh, some people have, you know, even Harley would tell you, even uh, my best friend Sir would tell you, even some other people who have watched me like for years would tell you, <laughs> like, uh, you know, they would tell you and that would blow your mind. You'd be like, oh, wow, it's worse than what I thought it would be. <laughs> Sorry, Barmer. Okay, okay. Exactly, exactly. Cause like a lot of people think it's all easy and and easy said and done, but. I wish half of the stuff that I went through would have never happened. I wish. You know? And I wish that it was just a few bad people out there. I wish. And, uh, and the people that I was actually really dealing with are narcissistic people and psychopathical people and internet internet criminals, you know, doxing, because doxing is a crime, it's a federal crime. And, like, like, when you are dealing with psychopaths on the internet, and you're dealing with uh, uh, narcissistic people, who, no matter what you say, no matter what you do, I didn't talk about this a lot of times. I don't know if you heard me talk about it, frankly, but I didn't talk about it a lot of times. No matter what I title my streams or what I talk about, it doesn't matter. So you could be positive. It's the reason why I get, you know, 
mess with because I am positive. That's why. I'm not a negative person. And the only time you see me getting upset because I'm just defending myself from being attacked. And defending myself from bullies and defending myself from narcissistic and and uh psychopaths, you know? But I had slowed down a lot from it. If you watch my uh, other videos, you could you could tell from that too. Uh -huh. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. And it's not like I did something really bad to these people for these people to hurt me. No, it's because their own lives are not so great. Their lives are shitty. Their lives suck. So I'm an easy target. You know, I'm a very nice guy. They like picking on nice guys. But, but if I was someone like a hardcore type of guy and, and a really like, like just, mm, you know, like uh, freaking, you know, like cursing everyone out. Really, nobody wouldn't really watch me, but and nobody would mess with me. But I'm not like that, though. But I know people who are like that, and <laughs> and I that's why you know when I go to their chat and I see what they have to go through, that I don't inject myself into that mess. Or I don't try to uh, follow those people who are doing all that dirt and stuff. You know what I mean? Because uh, I, you know, I was taught, I was taught, I was raised better than that. Exactly. They always pick on the innocent. And they always pick on the weak. And normally the nice people are the weak people, which I'm not like weak, 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 but, 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 but that's what they feel like, you know, that's what they look at me like, you know, they look at me like I'm, I'm a very weak person, you know what I'm saying, but I'm positive, that's why. You know, you don't see a lot of people running in my chat, like. You know, like typing nonstop because I'm not drama. I'm not a drama king. If I was a drama king, if I was a drama king, uh, I would have a lot of people here at her typing in the chat right now. And since I'm positive, you know, people don't want that. Some people, uh, some people don't want positivity. You know, especially when. The only time they want it, uh, if it's, uh, they just don't want the drama to affect them, and those people would be fine. But if it doesn't affect them, then they can care less about it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. And, you know, I, you know, I've been doing this stuff for a long time. I'm not new. I'm OG of this. You know, I was around before a lot of people was able to monetize and make money on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you know, I know the, you know, I know the game and, and I know how people can be, but when I started out, 
you know, I didn't have all of this until last year. To the last year of uh, July. You know? So, 11 years and those other years were were good. Yes, I had a few, you know, people who were trolls, but those people didn't really take it to another level. These people that I'm talking about now, they took it to another level. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, when you took it, when you, when you involve someone's family or you involve someone's finances or you involve someone's, uh, uh, you try to uh, put someone in a trick bag and you try to get in someone's personal life, then that's, that's like, that means that you didn't took it so far, you know, you know, that's like, that's like way too far. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't have Netflix. Maybe, maybe you should give me your uh, login information so I could, uh, so I could get on it. Nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> Yeah, I've had Netflix in a while. But I do have apps on my TV I can watch movies on and stuff like that. So, yeah. Exactly. Don't change the room. And, uh, and uh, my mom used to always tell me that don't change for nobody, son. You know, nobody. Don't even change for me. You know, be yourself, you know? You know, be yourself, you know what I'm saying? Don't change, don't change up for nobody. And lately, I've been pretty much being myself, calm, chilled, funny, silly, good sense of humor, trying to keep the, trying to keep the negativity down to a minimal. Exactly. No problem, no problem. And I'm, you know, this channel is, is, is moving forward. You know, it's been moving forward these last two days, you know. Because I, uh, I've been, you know, I've been feeling good. I haven't been stressed out. I haven't been angry, I haven't been upset, I haven't had no meltdowns, none of that. It has been ever since Tuesday, I've been great. You know what I'm saying? I haven't been perfect, but I've been great. So I've been I've been trying my best, you know, I've been trying my best. You know. You know, and I'm gonna keep keep going, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. And see, really, you know, like, I didn't build the, even though it's a small audience, but I didn't build on these channels, like my main channels. I didn't build a, a audience. No matter what content I do, I'm, I'm always going to get somebody to click on my video or or leave a comment or or watch, you know, so yeah, I then came a long way. I didn't came a long way. So people are always gonna really watch me, you know what I'm saying? It might be a small amount of people, but 
But the thing about it is, can you imagine having a thousand people typing at the same time writing your chat? I couldn't even keep up with that. So, you know, I'm good with what I got. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because sometimes when you have thousands of people typing in the chat, you might skip a person. And I really don't like that because I like to make sure everyone gets recognized in the right of my chat. So I like the idea of having a smaller chat. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, with the bigger channel, that had thousands of people typing in the chat, I couldn't keep up with it. I couldn't please everybody. So, it's nothing wrong with having a small channel at all. You know, a view is a view. A comment is a comment. A like is a like. A dislike is a view. You know? So every dislike you get, it counts as a view. Every like you get, it counts as a view. Because you know those people are that that's disliking your video are watching. Definitely. They're watching. They always watch. So it's all good to me, you know. I'm all good with it. Because I know a lot of people, they just love, you know, people typing in the chat, which I do too. I like it when people type in the chat too. But just imagine having so many people in the chat and then you're trying to, trying to respond to everybody and you're like, oh man, I, I skipped that person, I skipped that person. And some people get upset because when you don't, respond back to them because there's so many people typing and sometimes you might not see the message because the, the the chat is going really fast you know what i'm saying so you know having a smaller channel has this good side too as well it has good things about it too and plus just to make money, you don't really necessarily got to have a big channel to make money. Because I'm making money on YouTube. And I'm about to get my H YouTube paycheck. You know? Uh, her on the 21st. You pay for the 8th time on YouTube. So... So you don't really just got to have a million subscribers just to get paid on YouTube at all. You know, back then, like, maybe 12 years ago, you had to. Exactly, exactly. Because I'm afraid, okay. I'm afraid that if I had that many people typing in the chat, then I'm afraid that a lot of people are going to be upset with me because I can't get to every message and stuff. You know? So, because I want to be able to respond to everybody. I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that that ignore certain people, you know what I'm saying? Okay, uh, sweet love. Okay, talk to you, sir. <laughs> Night, woman. Sorry I'm silent, Nikki. Uh, I'm watching Winnie Williams on the same time. Okay. <laughs> what do you think about uh, William, Wendy Williams, uh, with her, uh, like, her having problems on her show, like, on the set and stuff, like, her, like, acting kind of weird and her just, like, stumbling, and, you know, like, she's, she's going through a lot, 
you know, you know, death. What do you think about that? Naughty girl. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of people have their naughty ways, you know. Tell you that one thing. You know, I love naughty women, though. <laughs> Be honest with you. I ain't gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I love it when a woman, a really spontaneous woman. Yeah, so. Yeah, what's up tonight, baby girl? Yeah, tomorrow I'll definitely have some leftovers. Chinese food. Definitely. I don't know where frankly went. He disappeared. You know? Yeah, frankly, everything is good. Yeah. Because, you know, I'm, uh, Trying my best to make it good ever since Tuesday. So, everything's good over here. Because you notice, I don't know if you watch my whole entire stream, uh, frankly, but you notice that, you know, it's been chilled. Like, yesterday's stream was chilled, the, the day before stream was chilled, the day before that was chilled. So, so I didn't make four streams within ever since Tuesday, and they've been mostly chilled. So yeah, so we're good over here. We are definitely good over here. Yeah. We making it happen. And 
you know, like with the membership thing, you know, keep in mind, you know, I never said no one had to pay for the membership. I was just talking about the trolls and stuff like that. I wasn't talking about the regular people who had regular accounts or who are moderators or anything like that. That's kind of what me and Sweet Love was talking about. You know, and I agree with her, you know. You know, if you think about it, it, it kind of makes sense, you know. And plus, it's, it's very simple to, uh, to do, you know. So, yeah, you know, for, you know, like, like me, I'm for, you know, I'm for everybody, you know, and uh, people that know me forever would tell you that, you know, but, uh, but lately it's been great, you know what I'm saying? A lot of things been great. Of course, they haven't been great, like 100%, but it's been great, you know, a lot, you know. So I'm, you know, happy, I'm blessed, and the people that came in the chat talked to me, wanted to, you know, have a conversation and talk about animals and Talk about other ways, you know, life and all that other stuff, you know. You know, like, so, you yeah. know. Because I figured that if you fully support someone, 100%, then you're going to support whatever they do, especially when it can help you or help me or help her those that might feel uncomfortable, you know, coming in the chat because they don't want to be a victim to someone attacking them or, or uh, putting their address out there or attacking their personal life, you know? So, yeah. You know, it's a win-win situation pretty much, you know, and, you know, and it's a good, you know, it's a good, it's a good reason and a good, it, it's all good intentions, you know. You know, so, yeah, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, you know. You know, especially when you're a YouTuber, especially when you've been a YouTuber long as I have been, you know, forever, like a long, long time. I even got songs that I put on YouTube 11 years ago, you know, so, yep. So this is not something new to me at all. You know, not at all. You know, maybe it might be new to s some people, which, you know, I, I can understand that, but, you know, not to me, though. I didn't see it at all. And I didn't hurt it all. What if it was on my channel or a friend's channel who I was supporting? From the from the smallest things, from all the way up to the biggest things. And I didn't seen things that so if the cops seen it themselves, whew. It'd be over. You know, I didn't see criminal stuff happen. You know, I didn't see like bigger stuff than 
then right here, I just seen like a lot of things, like a lot of things. Things that you probably wouldn't even imagine. Things that you probably don't need to see, you know? So, yeah, that's why I'm not really surprised about anything anymore like I used to be, you know? So, I'm all good, I'm all good. But I love all my subscribers, I respect all my subscribers. And, you know, some people I might not agree with fully, but I still respect them and I still care about them every day. Yeah. Because you're not going to agree with everybody, you know, like you run across, you know. And the reason why I said I was going to make a documentary because, like, not because, like, something really small or something really, like, petty or nonsense, now. something that's, you know, that's, like, really, really, really big and, and really important. But, uh, that's why, you know. But I know, frankly, uh, you, well, you haven't been watching me for years, so that's probably why you don't know how how bad it was and how bad it's been, you know. And that's probably why you probably wouldn't understand the severity, the level of it, you know. So I get that, you know. And of course, you know, when people come come in these chats and they really don't know your channel, you know, and they haven't been been on your channel forever, then of course they're not gonna understand like why are you talking about this or why you wanna do this or why you wanna do that. You know, they're gonna think it's funny, but it's not funny. You know, it's it's like something really big and important and it's really serious, you know? You know? It's not no game at all, you know? That's why I'm doing what I'm doing, you know? That's why I do what I do. Because it's my life, you know. Let's play some music, you guys. It's a jam. I wish I could play any song, but... You know, I can't, certain music I can play and it'll be okay with, but certain music I can't play, you know? So, you know, you know how strict YouTube is with music, copyrighted music and stuff like that. So, Facebook is the same way, but uh, Facebook is much worse with that than YouTube is because you can easily dispute a... Uh, copyright claim or even erase or mute the, or trim out that part that has that copyright song on there. You can always do that, you know, just go to your YouTube studio after your video get up, your stream get uploaded. And then once you get that claim and you get that email and everything like that, then what you do is you click on where it says uh, view details, click on that, 
Then once you go to your YouTube studio, it'll pop up saying that this video is not eligible for monetization or this video got a copyright material on it. And at the right hand side, it will give you an option to remove it. It will give you like three options to trim that part out or mute the song or replace the song with a non-copyrighted song with a library, an audio library song where you can't get copyright or that like that. Or, or if you feel like you got permission or you feel like you got license for that song or maybe you feel like it's commentary it's under fair use, then you can dispute it, you know. So it gives you, I, I, even my, even my old songs back in the days that got copyright claims, content ID, because whenever I put my music, my old music on YouTube and, you know, like, like not just post it on my channel, but I, professionally put it on YouTube digitally, distributed it on YouTube, automatic, uh, automatic, uh, YouTube automatic, uh, uh, generated music, you know what I'm saying? Not like something that, that you just upload to YouTube and write a title for, you know, because you notice that uh, let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna show you what I mean, cause my uh, children with Byron is is the official artist channel. That's why you see a verified music symbol right next to my name when I comment on video, or whenever you go to my channel through like desktop mode, or you go to my channel through like a computer or something like that. So yeah. Let me see, YouTube automatic gener generated uh, songs. So these songs are not just just put on YouTube by me. They're put on it through a distributor and stuff. So, so these songs, what I'm talking about, these songs right here, these songs are or auto generated music content. They're not like just regular music that I just post, you know? But my other songs are just just posted by me. But the these three songs right here that I just showed you are 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 a YouTube auto uh generated. So, so it's not like I just freaking put a title or, and I just hit the upload button and then it just uploaded it. Nah, these songs are put on there professionally, published professionally. So, yeah. But my other songs are just put on there by me, you know what I'm saying? So that's a really big difference, you know, like auto, uh, YouTube auto uh, generated songs versus like just uploading the songs to YouTube. It's, it's a really big difference, you know? Because auto really, uh, because YouTube Auto generated songs, they get, they, uh, they get advertisement, even if your, even if your, uh, channel is not monetized, because those songs are not like regular uploads or anything like that. You can't even, you know, edit it, them or anything, like you can with your, your other 
videos and your other songs. You know, you know how like when like artists like they put Michael Jackson's music, you know, uh, onto YouTube or they put, you know, Tupac's music or Biggie's music or any other artists out there, small or big or well known or not known. Uh, you notice that uh, when you go to their official artist channel, you notice that it has a list that says albums and singles. You know what I'm saying? Those are uh, YouTube auto generated songs. You know? But the ones that says just uploads are uploads by me. So it's a really big difference. You know? So. And before you are able to, to, to uh, publish those songs professionally, they check everything. YouTube check everything. So, yeah. And then, they're not only on, uh, on YouTube like that, but they're also on TikTok, uh, they're also on uh, Facebook, you know, on iTunes, Spotify, everywhere, really, worldwide on 20 different uh, music platforms, major music platforms, so, yeah. So, so whenever you look up my artist's name, and plus look up the song, it'll just be right at the top, you can find it. But, you know, you don't really have to necessarily be big to do that. You know, you just got to follow all the policies and copyright and guidelines and everything like that. And then you should be straight, you know, like, so, uh, yeah. But, like, back in the days when, like, back in, like, the 90s, you know, it was a lot harder to put, even post a video online, you know? But nowadays, you know, you can post anything, you know what I'm saying? Music, cooking videos, streams, whatever. Whatever you want to, as long as you are not posting nothing inappropriate or nasty or concerning or anything like that. But if you ever post mature content, you can you can also edit it so that way some of the parts that's in the video uh, you can like blink the cuss words out, you could uh, edit some of the stuff that's that's inside the video, so that way you won't get no age restricted or or demonetization symbol that that yellow demonetization symbol or or get that video removed. You know, so it's ways, it's apps out there, mobile apps and desktop apps where you can edit. You know your video, but you can't edit, you can't edit streams, but you can edit it right after you upload, you know, right after the stream turns into a replay video. You can't do that. But the, but see, my streams are long, long, long. So it's kind of hard to edit, you know, a long, a long stream that's eight hours, but if the stream was like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, then you should be able to edit it, blur certain things out. 
you know, stuff like that, you know, blur certain names out, blur certain faces out, everything. So, so YouTube gives you the tools to, to change up things, you know. No, no, just to be on the safe side, just to make sure your channel doesn't get taken down or your channel doesn't doesn't get in bad standing, you know? So there's ways that you can uh, just like with the copyright I music, mean, there's ways that you can you know, never around there, there's ways this option, you know, that that, that if somehow a song is played in your streams or your videos, you can go back later and change some things up, you know, or remove that song from your stream. So, it's not just like, uh, like when you do a stream and then when you get done with it, you can't go back and change some things or maybe take some parts out, you know, because YouTube gives you that option, you know, and I think Facebook gives you that option too as well, you know, but Facebook got a different, different uh, way of doing it, you know, so it all depends on what, uh, what social media platform you own, you know? But, uh, YouTube is much easier, you know what I'm saying? When it comes to copyrighted music or when it comes to finding music to play that won't give you a copyright claim or strike. And mainly, you don't really get that many strikes on songs. Uh, unless you, like, playing the whole entire song. The worst thing that would happen is the song would end up in your description box. Like, like let me show y'all guys. Let me show y'all. Show y'all example. Like, like this song pop off that, that I add vocals, a vocal to, and I even said that even, even if you put a disclaimer in there, it's not a guarantee that it won't give you a client, you know, but, uh, you see, see here, this probably is the worst thing that would probably ever happen if you use a certain type of copyright itself. So, you know. Right here. So, so whenever you go to the description, then you will see, you will see music in, in this video. And then you can click on learn more and you can click on like, so you can find out like, okay, who, who is this, uh, who's this company that claimed it? And like a lot of these music are, YouTube have, you know, license to it and everything and stuff like that on the website. So. And plus they have content ID systems. So any video or any song that has a content ID system and you play it more than five seconds, then of course it's going to give you an automatic copyright claim, not a strike. Some people get strikes and claims confused. They think that they're just going to give you a strike immediately, but no, they're not. Cause I know a lot of people that play copyright music and don't get no strikes or claims. It's just, it's just the way you do it. You know what I'm saying? Just don't play the whole song and, and put in the description that you don't own that song. You just, 
playing it for cop for uh, entertainment purposes. Oh, you don't you know own it or trying to get money from it or nothing like that. You know, just like uh, play like thirty seconds or a minute up, and that's about it. And the worst thing would happen is you get a claim, and then after you get a claim, YouTube will put this in your description, put the music details of the song that was claimed and everything like that. That's how. But with movies, it's different, though. Movies and TV shows, it's another story. And audio visual, it's another story. They can block your stuff and remove your stuff immediately. So, yeah, I know how, how all that stuff works, you know? So, but there's ways that you can play copyrighted music, but you just gotta do it smarter. You, know, you gotta be smarter. And you gotta make sure that you put a disclaimer and give them credit, you know, who uh, sang that song or, or beat or whatever. Because whenever they see you giving them credit, then they won't really come after you like that. You know? Most of them won't come after you. So whenever I'm playing music, people assume that every song I play, that I'm going to get a strike for a copyright claim. but. That's not the case, because I know a lot of YouTubers who play a lot of music on their streams and videos all the time. And they still, if they get a claim, what some of them would do is they would just erase that claim from the video. Erase that uh, content material from the video. You know, so, yep. And really, the only copyright strikes I ever got was from like, from like, Howard Stern, which that video was under fair use, but I didn't really want to fight it, so I didn't, I didn't uh, push it or nothing like that. And Truth Nutrition, which. She, which he done it to other people too, even though the videos were under fair use. So the copyright claim was basically illegal. It was illegal report, so, but I just didn't fight for it, you know? That's why it's still removed. And I still received that strike, but I don't got that strike anymore. And that's been like, about four or five months ago. You know, maybe six months. Probably six months. Maybe six or seven months. So that was a long, long time ago. And when you get a claim, YouTube tells you that it's not going to affect your channel. You know what I'm saying? It's just a claim. That means that you can't monetize. That's all. can't make no money up. And it probably won't get recommended as much since, you know, it's, you got a claim. It probably, if you're lucky, maybe the video will get more views. Maybe the video that has a song or copyright claim material on it. Maybe you might get lucky or something. But with with those type of videos that have copyright claims on it, uh, it's very likely, you know, 
but it, I'm pretty sure if you share those videos, you know, they might get more views and people might watch them. Everything like that, <laughs> you know. So, yeah. Because that video that was claimed a long time ago by her, Howard Stern, which was on her first use, is my commentary right after the video. Plus, it did. Plus, it didn't even show how it stirred, nothing like that. It just showed the audio part. Um, and then right after I played it, I gave my copy up. You know? And I even said it was on a fur use for copy purposes only. You know, it's not like I was trying to make billions or millions of dollars out of it. You know what I'm saying? I think they was... Howard Stern people were just upset because the video took off. It got thousands of views, you know? And they really didn't like that. And they probably didn't even watch the whole entire video anyway. They probably just looked at one minute of it and then decided that it was, assumed that it was copyright because it had the audio. So, yeah, but I'm not really worried about it no more though, you know, I moved over from it. Moved on from it months ago, you know, and that's why y'all don't even see me talk about it that much, yeah. It says, President Trump in legal financial jeopardy after leaving office. So after he leaves office, he's probably going to get a divorce from Lonnie Trump. He's going to be facing a lot of legal financial trouble. You know, and I knew this was going to happen way before... I knew that Joe Biden was going to win. And no, I'm not trying to make it controversial or nothing like that. I'm just telling the facts. Uh, I knew months ago, even a year ago. You know what I'm saying? As soon as, I, as, soon as he leaves off, after he leaves off, it, it, it's not going to look good for him at all. And the reason why he was able to Skate to all that other stuff, that impeachment and all those other trouble, legal trouble, because he was president, you know? Because a president can't be just legally charged like that. It takes a lot of receding and voting to really get a president, to really get a president thrown in jail. Because he's the most powerful man pretty much around his country, you know? So, yeah. You know, the most powerful man that ever that holds higher office, you know? So that's why Trump, you know, when they was trying to get him during, uh, his his first term, they couldn't because he was president. Because he, they couldn't touch him. You know what I'm saying? Like they could not really. You know he would have to do a whole lot more than what he had done. You know just for them to, you know, to really do something. You know what I'm saying? Like, and that's why a lot of the stuff that he did. Pretty much, he got away with it during his presidency. But after, it's a whole different ball game. Because some pres, when you are a former president, some things you can't get away with. 
no more as you as you was sitting in the office. You know what I'm saying? So that's why a lot of people want to become president. Uh, because they want to be able to commit crimes and, and you know, not have to not to have to take responsibility for their actions and and stuff. But after they leave office, you know, and that's why he was trying to stay in office. He was trying to stay in power as long as he can. You know, he wasn't trying to stay in power just for me or you or anyone else. He was trying to stay in power for himself. So he won't go to jail or, you know, he won't have to deal with the consequences of that. Because it wasn't about the American people. It wasn't about me. It wasn't about her. Or it wasn't about the woman that runs the subway up the street or the woman that run, the woman that uh runs the family business two miles from me. No, it wasn't about nobody, it was about himself. And that's why he wanted to stay present. And I know that his followers know that too, but they're undeniable. They're living in Dundee and they won't never challenge him or call it out for what it is, you know. Till they're affected by something that he has done, you know what I'm saying? You know, so, yeah, you know, like, you know, money, you know, having money, you know, you can only get away with things for so long and it catches up to you. It catches up to you later on in life. You know, that's why when you run, when you are in a position that you in, in a high position, you want to do right for the people, right for all, not just rich people or a certain type of people that, that support you 100%. See, Biden, he wants to be there for everybody, even people that don't support him, you know? And Biden is actually fighting for our health care for all. Trump ain't. He's just trying to fight to stay in the White House so he can keep up with his agenda and keep up with his policies and keep up with his uh, narratives and he can stay in power as long as he can. If he had a chance, he would stay in the office forever. He would stay in the Oval Office for forever if he had it his way though. But you know, he don't got he don't he don't make that decision though. The American people do. You know? Nobody, you know, just like Joe Biden said, nobody can determine, you know, determine uh, who who is president and who is not. The only American people can determine that. Just like the mayors, just like the senators, just like the legislators, just like the lawmakers, just like the representatives of your state, the voters determine that. Not them. The voters do. That's why when people try to say, oh, yeah, you know, I can do whatever I want to because I'm president of the United States. No, 
They didn't have words. You know, there's some, some, there's someone that you got to answer to. Always, you know. Even when you own your own business, there's someone always you got to answer to. What if it's the RS, the city mayor, whatever the case might be. You got to answer to somebody. Somebody that's in power. So, yeah. Even owning your own business, like having a bakery shop or having an office or whatever you do, whatever type of business you open, you know? Whatever it is, you know? So, yeah. You know, and unless you, you know, like a president of the United States or, you know, are you one of the biggest, biggest people in the world that, that, that makes all the decisions and makes all the rules and stuff like that, you know. You're not one of those people, so you're just like everybody else. You put in that same bubble like everybody else. You know? And that's why I say, you know, like, when you get in a position that you get in, make sure that's something that you really, really want to do. And make sure that you are willing to do the job and willing to get the job done. You know? But it's not about being a Republican or Democrat or independent. It's about, you know, working with the American people and keeping, protecting, and serving the American people and protecting the Constitution when it comes to the American people. That you swarm oath every every time you have to have an inauguration or something like that. And it's about protecting all, it's not about protecting certain people. You know what I'm saying? And Trump was only protecting certain people. And that's why, that's another reason why he lost because he was only there for certain people. He wouldn't there for me, he wouldn't there for anyone that ever watched my channel or or anything, you know, who was there for himself. And that's the truth. That's not just something I think or something I'm making up, nothing like that. That is 100% true. And it's not just an opinion at all. Yep. So. Let's see. Probably going to get off of her because I don't see no point of just staying on her and just waiting for people to come in. You know, get off of her and watch a show or a movie or something like that. So, peace out. Have a good one. Stay blessed. Stay woke. Never let no one see you shine. I'll be out. Bye-bye.